All right, guys. So today I wanted to talk about 2.2 gallon versus 2.5 gallon. The sure can versus the no spill. I've been using the no spill since the day I posted a picture of me having it on Instagram. Three weeks, a month, something like that. Long enough for me to realize that all you people that told me go buy no spill, no spill is great, yada, yada, yada. I went out, I spent my own money, and I bought a no spill. Now you wanna know what I think of the no spill? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Okay guys, so I've been using this for a while. As you all know, I've used the Sure Cans pretty much since they came out. But I will say some pros and cons. Okay, one of the pros I do like about the no spill is I love being able to see how much gas I actually have in my can. To where this, you can see it, but it's not nothing compared to the window. One other thing I like about the no spill is when it pressurizes, I can just push the button in and I ain't got to worry about gas going everywhere. Now I can do that with the no spill as well. Literally, you just pull the cap, release your pressure. So it's really not that big of a deal to me. But when it comes to filling up my equipment, this is where I find the sure can just demolishes the no spill hands down. And I will show you why, it's because I'm lazy. I fill my stuff up while it's on the racks. If I see I need gas in my trimmer, then guess what? I'm gonna fill it up before I pull it out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cap off, okay? Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this little thing off. Now here's where it gets fun, guys. It's because now I've barely got any gas in here. So now I've gotta hold it like this, up in the air, and when it's full, who wants to be holding something like this, looking, trying to figure out, you know, hey, I got some gas going in now. Not me. I'm going to show you my easier way. You take this, you pull this cap off, no matter where I'm at. I can do it like this. I can use my thumb. I usually do it like this. It's two gallons. It's not that freaking heavy. Take it and I put it in there, and I ain't even got to do anything. If I want to hold the bottom and pull this, and I fill it up, the end. Same thing with my mower, with a five gallon. Now we're only talking about the two gallon right now, but the last thing I wanna do is be filling my, my trimmer up and have to be holding it like this. This makes no sense to me. The only other option you have is this. So this thing to me has some pros but when it comes right down to what i would literally i'm doing every day i'm glad this thing's empty because i'm definitely going back to my sure cans guys i love the sure cans absolutely love them i've heard of people having problems with them i've heard of people having leaks or you know stuff breaking if you throw them around stuff's going to happen i mean let's let's discuss it no matter how i mean it, you can be careful all day long and if you take care of your stuff, they're gonna last longer. So if you're just throwing it around and not giving them two craps, then of course something's gonna break. I've had my sure can, my oldest sure can is two years old and it still hasn't had one issue. Not one. I've got a five gallon gas can, never had an issue with it. Now guys, I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form to say anything. They don't pay me to tell you the difference. I went and bought this out of my own personal money just so I could try one because I never have and to see what all the hype was about because every Instagram live I had when somebody asked about gas cans or would mention gas cans, the no spill would come up. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go buy a no spill. I didn't contact no spill. I didn't even try to get a free can. I just went to my nearest store and bought the thing and I absolutely hate it. I absolutely do. So if there's anybody in the Kansas City area that wants a free two, 
in a half gallon no spill gas can please feel free to come get it i will meet you somewhere and you can have this thing because i think it's garbage and i honestly will stick with my sure cans guys this is what fits me good regardless if my trimmer's on the ground i can still fill it up easier than i can with that no spill all day long i don't have to do this and be down there on the ground bent over i can literally move my nozzle hold the can down put it in the the fill neck and fill it up now do you you have to let off of it a little early yes because if you don't then it'll it'll spill out but after a couple times you notice you start getting full you let off the trigger a little bit and it slows that rate down tremendously so it's user friendly to me it's user error that people have of why they don't like these and they prefer the no spills now i looked at the five gallons guys um, i did look at the five gallon no spills and when i looked at them i could not find a five gallon no spill that had a handle on the back i couldn't find one that had a handle on the back and people say that it's easier to use their fill up their their mower with a no spill than it is with one of these now the flow rate on the no spill is great it may fill up faster but i'd much rather be able to hold move my neck hold the bottom of my five gallon can and just literally do this and release it and have two hands holding it rather than be doing this and this or this and this filling up the gas can on my v-ride okay i'm just going to show you what i'm talking about with the mower so we'll start with the no spill keep in mind this is the two gallon i will not be putting my mixed gas in my as you can tell but literally i put this down in there and i can hold it or i can put it down in there and just rest it there now i know y'all are saying oh well that's a two gallon that's two you know what fine I've got a five gallon right here, completely full of gas, full to the top of gas. Now watch. The thing about these sure cans is they have the handle on the bottom, guys. There's a handle right here and here. Now this thing's completely full. My mower's got a quarter tank of gas. Put this up here, set it down there. And I promise, this thing is completely full. I will flash a flashlight down in there. There's a flashlight over there. Give me a flashlight. There you go. Completely full of gas. Literally, completely full. Completely full of gas. And as you can tell, I'm holding it one-handed. One-handed. If I want to hold it two-handed, just to give more stability, then I can. But you know what? You can't beat this thing. I can do it one-handed. I don't have to worry about it. I can fill my can up. I'll sit here. Relax. I ain't got to worry about nothing. I can watch my gas gauge and tell you where it's at. Right now we're at almost a half tank. Nothing fancy about that. If you don't want to spill anything, whoop, there you go. No spill. Now, the five gallon I seen, once again, I've heard people say that they do have a five gallon with a handle. Everywhere I've looked, I cannot find one with a handle. So, can't tell you that. But if I've got this, and it's full of gas, and it's five gallons, and I've got to do this, I'm going to be pissed off. Or this, and I'm holding the button down. Even sticking it in there and just doing this is still not as convenient to me as that is. It's really not. The only thing I really like about this is when you let off this button, the flow completely stops. That's the one thing if sure can could do, but they can't because they don't have a spout. But when I think about gas cans, the one thing I think about when I think of gas cans is something that should be able to do anything. I can't fill a car up with this. If I run out of gas on the side of the road, I'm going to spill most of my gas by the time this fits in my freaking truck to, to fill it up. And if it does fit in there, then how's my gas going to get out? 
because I ain't going to be able to angle it like this to get it out. So guess what? Another con that is going to do me no good. You just wasted your money. Sure can. You can do it. Put it right down in there, hold it. My wife can, can pick this up. And then psh, fill up your vehicle. Fill up your motor. Fill up your, your equipment. Whatever you want to fill up, the sure can will do. This, they want you to buy a spout for. Oh, well, we sell a spout. You can put the spout on the end here and then, you know, it'll, well, that's all gravy. So then I'm still doing this to get my gas out. So guys, that's my opinion on this. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, I went and spent my money on this, my personal money on this, and I'm very upset with some of the things that this gas can does and don't do. So when it comes right down to it, it's not for me. Definitely not for me. I will stick with my sure cans. They work excellent. I can fill my equipment up on the ground. I can do so much more with a sure can than I can with a no spill. And I know you no spill haters are gonna love this video. And the people that, that love no spill are gonna hate this video. But let's be reasonable, guys. That's what this whole video is about, being reasonable. And you know what? If you sit there and you go through the pros and cons that I mentioned, they all make sense. I'm not just making stuff up. So that's my thoughts on the no spill, guys. Until something else comes out, I'll go buy it and give it a try and let y'all know my thoughts on it. But you got to admit, SureCan is doing bigger and better things now than they were two, three years ago. They have fixed a lot of these issues with their new cans. So if you had issues with the old ones, contact them. Let them know. Maybe they'll offer you a discount or something off on your next can. Give the new ones a try because I'm going to tell you, this one's old. This is when they first came out and I've, it don't leak. You can look at it. It's never had leak on it. So some people are having leaks and I don't, I'm not sure if it's user error or if it's actually a defect of the can, but I've never had an issue with them. If I did, I would tell you. That's what my channel is about, letting you know what's gonna be beneficial for us. So, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.